Benjamin Tall, the deputy chief economist at CIBC, has just made his prediction that he believes the Bank of Canada is going to increase interest rates once again this year. With the Bank of Canada's announcement fast approaching on September 6th, there's a lot of conversations right now discussing whether or not they are going to leave rates where they are or increase the interest rates again. Now, I know there's a ton of people out there that don't want to hear that there's predictions that the Bank of Canada is going to increase rates again, and I totally understand that but I think it's important to understand why people like Benjamin Tall are making these predictions and what the outcome is going to be if interest rates do increase from September. Now we're going to look at this article in a second but before we do as always if you get any value out of this video please consider subscribing to the channel and joining this community and if you're thinking of buying selling or investing in real estate in the GTA you can click the link below in this video and book a call directly with me and my team at a time that works for you. And we're going to look at this article to see what Benjamin Tall actually had to say and here he is himself. Now, looking at the first part a little bit, it says Benjamin Tall, pictured the deputy chief economist at CABC World Markets, told Canadian mortgage professional that a surprisingly hawkish statement by the central bank had paved the way for another 25 basis point hike in September, a move that would bring the trend setting rate a full 5% above its March 2022 level. The bank said it expected inflation to return to 2% to its 2% target by the middle of 2025, a longer time frame than it had previously indicated was likely. And now Benjamin Tall here is quoted saying, this is opening the door for another move in September. Tall said, our official call is now that the Bank of Canada is going to move again, unfortunately, in September by 25 basis points, and that maybe the will be the end of it. Now, one of the factors Benjamin Tall mentions here when he talks about his prediction is this target inflation rate of 2%. Now, we're going to quickly look at the Canadian inflation rates currently so you can understand where the rate is right now and what's happening with it. So this is a chart of the Canadian inflation levels over the last year. And you can see about a year ago this time, the inflation was at 7%. And the Bank of Canada has been adamant in increasing interest rates in order to curb inflation to get it back to their target of 2%. Now, we had a little bit of a blip here from um, March to April, and then the two announcements after this, which were actually June and July, followed with rate increases of 0.25%. Now, it did look promising after April. We saw inflation down to 3.4 in May, 2.8 in June, which is the lowest we've seen it in a long time. But unfortunately, in July, we saw an increase of 0.5%, so almost 20% of 28 to 3.5%. Now, this is a key indicator to us that the Bank of Canada may be preparing to increase rates again. And the reason they want to do this, which Benjamin Tall mentions in the second part of this article, is that if they don't make uh, interest rate increases now and inflation continues to go up, they're going to have to make increases down the road and they're going to have to keep rates higher for a longer time to get it back to that target 2%. Now, on the other side, if they make these um, interest rate adjustments now and they can curb the inflation faster then they can actually start to make their rate cuts sooner rather than later. So on that topic we're going to look at the next statements here from Benjamin Tall. It says those looking for good news in that scenario may find it in the likelihood that another increase in September would push forward the timeline for rate cuts down the line according to Tall. So that's what we just talked about. If they actually make these rate cuts now, it could um, increase the rate at which the Bank of Canada could start to make their rate cuts. He goes on to say, we have to realize that we are already in the process of, in my opinion, overshooting, maybe by design by the Bank of Canada, he said. But it also means that if you overshoot, you accelerate the process of cutting. Now, I find this point that he makes really interesting. I totally understand that a ton of Canadians right now are feeling immense financial pressure from where interest rates are, and majority of the public do not want to see these continuous interest rate increases because it adds additional financial pressure to households. But the idea here is that the Bank of Canada has made it very clear since day one, we are going to take this monetary policy 
and increase rates until we get inflation down to 2%. And what Tall is saying here is that by overshooting this or by increasing rates again sooner rather than later and waiting to see what happens, they might actually be able to accelerate their timeline and start to pull off the gas and cut back rates sooner than previously expected which I think would be a little bit of a relief to the entire country at this point. Now, when we talk about what impact this is going to have on the real estate market, whenever we see interest rate increases, it typically has a negative impact on sales as well as the sale of price of homes, mainly because buyers simply can't afford as much when interest rates increase. And they're also a little more cautious with their money when it costs more to borrow money to purchase a home. Now, when it comes to my prediction of what's going to happen September 6th, I've heard Benjamin Tall speak a number of times, and he is an incredibly intelligent person, especially when it comes to the Canadian economy. So if he's predicting that rates are going to go up 0.25% in September, I would align my prediction with his exactly. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think they're going to go up or are they going to hold them in September? And what do you think the outcome is going to look like for Canadians? Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.